So next we are solving a fourth degree equation here. Now it's got three terms. So I'm going to try to solve by factoring. So let's try to FOIL backwards here. So our first terms here have to multiply to give the x to the fourth. So why don't we try x squared and x squared because our middle term has an x squared. And then the negative 50, we want factors of negative 50 here uh, that add up to negative 5. So 5 times 10 is 50, So and those have a difference of 5. So let's use 5 and 10. And then we want uh, a negative 10 and a positive 5. So this would give negative 10x squared plus 5x squared would give us our negative 5x squared. That is set equals 0. And so now we've got a product that equals 0. So either the x squared plus 5 is equal to 0, or the x squared minus 10 is equal to 0. So either one piece is 0 or the other is. Uh, so here we can subtract 5 on both sides. So that 5 will come over as a negative. So x squared is equal to negative 5. Uh, so no, no real solutions there. Uh, we can take square roots on both sides, though, and get x equals um, square root of negative 5 is i times the square root of positive 5. So remember, negative inside the square root is equivalent to i outside the imaginary number, square root of negative 1. And then we get plus or minus uh, positive and negative square root. Now, if they're just talking about real solutions, there's no real solution to this. For this one, bring the 10 over on the right. x squared equals 10. And then take square roots. Uh, square root of x squared, x. And then there's a positive and a negative square root of 10. So plus or minus root 10. So those are our two real solutions.